Did you know that Interactive Brokers, one of my personal favorite stockbrokers of choice, also happens to have the most in-depth stock research function of any broker I've personally seen out there? It's really incredible. It's a little bit hidden. So I'm going to show you in this video how you can find it and all the different information you can find around the stock that you're trying to research. I basically test brokers for a living and I haven't seen any other broker that has such a detailed and in-depth stock research function out there. Now, it might be a little bit overwhelming to some, but the fact that you do have it for free, which is amazing. It really comes with any interactive brokers account. Even if you don't have any money in there, you can use that function. And I'll even show you a way how you can unlock free detailed stock reports that another platform for the same report would actually charge you for. So a lot to get into in today's video. I'm going to show you most of the things on the web version of interactive brokers. You can get similar information on the IBKR app. There it's almost the same. On the Global Trader app, which I personally use mostly to access my Interactive Brokers account, it's a bit more limited, but I'll show you towards the end of the video. Right, so here we are inside the main interface. Obviously, if you already have an account, you're very familiar with this. If you haven't started using Interactive Brokers yet, but want to, then definitely use my link down in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen that helps to support the channel without any additional costs to you. Right, and from here, obviously, what you want to do is go ahead and look for any, you know, either ETF or in this case, stocks that you want to research. So let's start off with one of the most popular ones that I guess a lot of people are familiar with and might even have in their portfolio, which is good old Google. You know, first time you use the platform, you might be a little bit overwhelmed with all these various stock exchanges. But I think once you start using it, you get to understand, obviously, you know, different Googles can be listed in different stock exchanges. This is Switzerland, for example, Mexico. There might be other ones as well, depending on your trading permissions. But I want to go ahead with the main one listed on the NASDAQ. So let's click into this over here. We want to have the stock in this case. And a lot of people that I speak to, they actually think that's pretty much all the information they get out of interactive brokers, which honestly doesn't look that much, right? But trust me, there's much more information to that. So first of all, obviously here you have a snapshot of the stock, right? You have the chart over here, which of course we know we can customize depending on how you want it. You know, the symbol, the scales, canvases, so you can really play around with. I also usually prefer having just lines because I'm not trading. I just want to see the overall, you know, price development over time. You can zoom in and out. So all these things obviously are self-explanatory. You can play around with them. You see very quickly the bid and ask price, which is very important. And basically the spread of the platform, they make it very transparent because the spread here on interactive brokers is extremely tight. Other platforms don't show you the spread because their spread is much bigger. Basically, it comes out of your profitability. You will pay more for buying a particular stock or ETF. So that's something I really like about the platform here as well. Then, of course, you can quickly see when you click on this over here, we talk about Google listed and NASDAQ and all the various other information you may need to know about that stock. And then, of course, from here, you see your positions and all the other things, a couple of information. But essentially, you don't really get much more over here on the screen. So that's where you want to hover over to the top right over here. As you can see, you have options. I don't trade the options, so that's not relevant for me. Connections, also something interesting. You can click on this. You can see some other companies related to that space so we'll come to this in another part but you know for me that's not that relevant you also have news of course news are interesting but you want to go ahead and click on fundamentals and here it opens up a whole new menu of information they keep on adding more and more to it when i did it a while ago that was already quite a lot but now having come back to it the last few days i was really impressed by how they keep on innovating and updating it. So they really came a long way. I mean, many years when I started talking about interactive brokers, I always said how clunky and old school it is. But credit where credit is due, it's still not the most user-friendly one. But at the same time, you also get the most in-depth information and research out there. And all of that free of charge just by having an interactive brokers account, which is pretty awesome when you think about it. So obviously, here's a quick you know dashboard summary overview, however you want to call it. The cool thing is, whenever you see a blue arrow over here, you can just click into it. For example, key ratios, and it will take you into the key ratio part over here. Or of course, you can just navigate at the top over here directly to it. But let's go one by one so you can see what kind of information you can expect to get from interactive brokers. So again, a little bit of snapshot. We'll probably go through all of them in more detail, but this is really the most important things you want to know about your stock, right? And that's already so much more than some other brokers even give you, which again, obviously depends on your investment style, right? Some people, they don't want to do stock research. And then in this case, you might just better be off buying an ETF such as All World ETF, S&P 500 ETF, totally fine if you don't want to bother with all this information. But if you do want to buy individual shares, the fact that you do have access to in-depth insights and research, I think it's just absolutely amazing. See the ownership competitor, social sentiment. So really, really nice sort of snapshot overview of what's happening in a given company. But let's dive right in into each individual heading over here. Company profile, pretty self-explanatory. Obviously, gives you a snapshot overview of what the company is all about. 
the common shares, etc. breaking down, as well as who are the directors and officers. Honestly, here I probably spent the least time on because, you know, when I want to invest in the company, I kind of already have an idea about them. So for me, that slide is not relevant. But if you have no idea about a company, maybe somebody recommended you a company or stock to look into, you can have a good overview over here. Then we go into investment themes. That's something I think is fairly new. I haven't seen that before. And I really must say, it's really actually cool when you think about it. For example, you have all the various themes that they are sort of part of, right? For example, search engine services, right? That's where Google falls into. So whatever company you're looking for, they sort of clustered around these different topics that they are sort of, you know, touching on, right? Which is, I think, really relevant, especially in a company like Google. There's so many different business avenues. It really gives you a more structured overview of what they're all dabbling in, which areas and business segments. And you can click into this and you can get even more information, what it's all about, the advertising business, and you can even see the sources. And then you can click into this and I will then take you into the official reporting. And then you can just control F and look for the relevant part if you really wanted to dig down into the source. So basically, it's obviously some kind of AI that takes the information from the official reporting and then sort of classifies it over here. And more interestingly, you can also see investment theme overview where you can click into this and then pulls out another sort of chart and overview over here. And it kind of shows you competitive companies in that sort of space, right? Advertising space. Here we compete with Meta, with Adobe, Amazon, all the likes, and then see the theme performance, how they did relative to the competitive set, right? Over six months period, how they've been improving or not, the performance of equal weighted basket over top 30 companies. So really nice way. I haven't seen that anywhere else where you can really go segment by segment. I want to see how they do in terms of autonomous vehicles, right? Because they also own way more. So I can go into investment theme overview and I can see, of course, the number one competitor is Tesla and some other companies over here. And I can see how they're doing. And yeah, obviously they have been doing really well in recent times. So this is a very, very nice overview. I can see the other competitors, how they're doing relatively to them. So I really, really find that a very nifty tool to get a glance overview of what's happening with the company and all the various business segments. Then of course you have also brand and product. That's also really, really nice because it really breaks down all the various, you know, brands and products, as it says, obviously, what they do, you know, YouTube, great. I can go once again to sources, see what they have. They have, of course, all the various subscriptions like Google One, Google Workspace, Gemini, YouTube TV, Google Ads, Google Play, Google Maps, way more we spoke about. So all these various verticals that you may not remember can give you a nice overview of the company itself. Of course, competitors, we see the various competitors in general that they're competing with. Country exposure, also really nice. You know, you can get a snapshot overview of what's happening for the company. For example, Ireland. Ireland is a crucial operational center for Alphabet, especially for the EMI region in Europe, Middle East and Africa, revenue recognition and extensive data center infrastructure. Great, didn't know that. So I think it's really, really helpful there as well. And then region exposure, kind of more on a continent basis. So that's very insightful as well. Then we go to key ratios. That's kind of what you would expect from a lot of platforms, right? To kind of show you the key ratios of the company, right? They're pretty standard ratios like the PE ratio, cash flow per share, and all those various metrics that if you really want to dive into, you can really find a lot of information over here and you can click the drop down. And I really like how they also show it not just for the company, but also for competitors, right? So you can see how is that stock doing relative to their competitors or industry comparison. You even have a little graph over here. You can see the trend line also. So honestly, that has improved so much. It didn't used to be that good and that visual. So I really like the way how interactive brokers are listening to users' comments and making it much more modern and easier on the eye. So I really like that. So here you find a lot, a lot of information. I'm not going to go through all of them, but yeah, most likely if you look for something, you will find it here. Just click the drop down and you will see a nice breakdown of those numbers. With this, we move to dividends. And obviously it depends on which company you invest in. Not all the companies are paying a dividend. If you're a company that's not paying a dividend, well, obviously that tab will be empty. But in Google's case, they pay a tiny dividend, right? Right now it's 0.36%. So it's not a particularly high dividend, but still it's a nice little you know, cash injection that you get if you do own some Google shares and it gives you a bit of breakdown. Now, obviously, overall, I think they could do a better job with dividend tracking also inside the application because even dividend forecasting and so forth, I think that's where the active broker is still lacking a little bit. With this, we move over to the impact tab over here. And here you can see how the chosen company that you're planning to invest in has an environmental, social, government principle impact, right? You have an ESG score. So that's important for you. That's a nice overview of how that stock is doing based on the various metrics over here. Now, I'm personally not into that. I could have an impact dashboard. I can change my settings over here where I say what is important for me and so forth. And based on that, it would score it accordingly. So if that's important for you, you can really dive into that over here as well. There's also an impact app, which you can have on your phone, which is great for any ESG friendly investor. So if that's relevant for you, I think you get a lot of value out of this here as well. Then we move over to 
financials. Of course, that has to be in every stock research platform for sure, because you want to see the numbers, right? Ultimately, numbers don't lie. So you can break down the numbers, how they're developing. And again, nice graphs over time. You see the trend line. You can change from annually to quarterly over here, depending on how you want to see it. You have the balance sheet, you have the cash flow statement, all nicely consolidated in one, nicely color coded. If it's up, it's green. If it's down, it's red. So very easy to see quickly what is happening financially with the company that you're looking into. This we go to analyst ratings. I think that's a really relevant tab for a lot of people to get an idea of what analysts saying about a particular company. Not that they would know the future, but to kind of get an idea of what the overall sentiment of analysts is over time. How many people are saying what? Then also recommendation details. We're saying buy, outperform, hold, underperform, all the various you know targets that analysts can make. You can have it in percentage, in numbers, depending on what you want to see over here. Analyst action log, that's also really nice. You can see the most recent analyst ratings. For example, we have over here from UBS, a neutral action maintained, price target 255. Okay, cool. Whether you like it or not, that's what they came up with. Then you have some other ones like HSBC Securities. They say it's a buy, action initiated, and the target is 285. See, so even analysts, obviously nobody knows the future, right? Another one over here says 295, while another one says 236. As always, it's anyone's guess, right? But you can form your own opinion and take that as just another factor to form your own opinion. And not only that, you can also go into other analysts, for example, tip ranks, ratings. So that accesses tip ranks, which some other users might actually be paying for. You can get this for free as part of Interactive Brokers Stockbroker account, which is really awesome, right? You can see here the various analysts over there, tip rank sentiment as well. If you want to dive into this, the bullish news, the bearish news. So really so much information over here as well as Morningstar, a well-known and highly regarded publication. Here you can directly tap into their sort of analysis of a particular stock, right? Their rating and so forth. You can have some information over here, what the bull say, the bear says, the mode, trends, so a lot of insights over there. But the cool thing is that I only found out recently, you can even get the full report. So here you have access to the entire Morningstar report of the particular stock, right? I could either download it as PDF or read it right here in the browser. You can see 28 pages. Now, the cool thing is if I go over to Morningstar, actually look for it, right? I pull up Google over here. I go over here to download the PDF, the report. Well, guess what? I would actually have to pay for it. You can see over here monthly, it would be $34 to access all the various reports and insights. While on Interactive Brokers, I can get this free of charge, which is absolutely amazing. So if you value Morningstar Insights, that alone would be a huge benefit for you to go with Interactive Brokers. With this, we go to Analyst Forecast, another tab where you get even more insights of what analysts are predicting, the numbers to be, the cash flow, you know, the earnings, the gross margins, all these things. Again, they're just forecasts. They might not mean anything, but it's nice to see this really consolidated over here. The ownership tab, also very important. Not all stockbrokers show you that. Here you see the ownership history over time. Who are the owners? You can put it in percentage. You can see institution with strategic entities and others. The owners types, you know, investment managers, funds, brokerage firms, as well as institutions, the breakdown and strategic entities, as well as the trade log. I think that's really important. You want to see what are insiders doing, right? You have either institutions, are they buying, are they selling? You know, a lot of them are selling right now. Also insiders, what are insiders doing? And it's good to see that even now some insiders are still buying despite the recent increase in price. They still keep on buying while others are selling. That's normal, right? I mean, obviously some people take profits. They also get paid, you know, bonuses in shares as well. But it's really nice to have that overview all consolidated in one tool. You don't have to go to another platform like Data Roma, for example, that I also like. You have it all here on Interactive Brokers. Then we also have social sentiment, which is a nice overview to kind of see what is the social sentiment around a specific company or stock out there. So you can go through over here, see how it develops over time. They give you insights also what it means. You can dive into this. I personally don't look too much into this, but if you do, then it's a nice insight there as well. If you're into short selling, you also get a lot of short selling insights into here. Again, I'm not short selling, so for me, it's not really relevant. Then securities lending, that's not something I'm actively doing. Plus, it seems you need another paid subscription to kind of access that. So I think for most of you and myself, that's probably not relevant. Then we have another one, estimized releases, where they do some more Google earnings expectations, forecasts, and so forth. Again, that's not something I'm looking into. But if you do, then that might be another data point for you. There's also EVA equity research. So you can see so many data points that you can tap into. Again, that's not really a tab that I see myself using. I'm not even sure what it's all about. But yeah, if that's relevant for you, just check it out. If not, you may not have to go back to that tab over here. Tip ranks again, we've seen that before. So here's a dedicated section. I still use tip ranks myself separately. But having it baked into the platform on Interactive Brokers is just another benefit over here. You can see kind of the overall sentiment, the insider trading activity. So it just gives you additional data points, which I think cannot harm, right? They might be overwhelming. If you don't use them, don't look into this. But if you do want to use them, they are here available for you with one click of a button, which is really, really cool. 
all those you know insights you get here again without any additional subscription which i absolutely love then we have another one trading central is a new tab over here even more insights consolidated shown in a different way things like market buzz as well it's even too much for me to kind of get my head around it but just know that it's here and you might actually like those information it's really up to you what you do with it but you do have access to so much information which i absolutely love and was not aware about and i keep on adding more and more which i think is absolutely awesome and well done by interactive brokers and lastly there's the search tab i've shown you so many different you know, tools and tabs and functions but you might be overwhelmed you might just want to say you know what is actually the revenue of the company right so type revenue over here and it will pull up all the various revenue numbers you know you have total revenue total revenue per share all these various revenue parts and then you can just dive into it and get a deeper insight so that's a really easy way to get to it because sometimes yeah it's really overwhelming you just want to see one number well you can just look for it and it shows it to you over here very very easily over head over to the ibk app on the mobile you can see if i go to google also i have a little bit of information over here but not that much but then the trick is to actually go for example into analyst ratings and that will open up pretty much all the same tabs over here we've previously seen on the web and and you can access all of those over here as well which is really cool so if you prefer having those insights on the go you can do that through the ibkr app i know it's a little bit overwhelming there are three different apps and personally i prefer using the global trader app and don't worry you can use all the various apps try them out with the same logins that you use for any of your interactive brokers accounts you can just dabble around with them all of them free of charge so you can see which one you like the most i think it's the cleanest the global trader and for most probably the best option to use but here you can see if i go down i have way less information for example the analyst ratings uh, but then i can't really click into anything else so definitely much more limited which again also i think is a good point right because this is really more geared towards long-term investors you just want to get the basic information and that's all because sometimes overwhelming just adds extra friction and complexity which scares some people away so i like that they have a very clean version and if you want more insights just use the ibkr app so there you go as you can see really really powerful platform and tool that just makes it yet another reason why i think is one of the best stockbrokers out there such a wealth of information and insights you get free of charge through the platform i absolutely love it and kudos to team for continuously innovating and making it better more visual check it out yourself play around with it and see whether you need all the information or it might be actually a little bit too much which is also totally fine just stick to global trader app and it will probably cover most of your investing needs all right friends hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like subscribe to the channel helps out a lot next up check out this video over here as always stay healthy get wealthy to see you in the next one ciao